Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this dynamite shrimp or bang bang shrimp, whatever you want to call it. So let's get right into it! So excited! Okay, so first I started off by washing my shrimp. Please wash your protein. Oh my gosh, just do it. So yeah, so I started off by um, washing my shrimp and then after I did that, I am going to peel these. These were already deveined, so all I had to do was peel them and take the tails off. Let me speed this up. Okay, so magically, I am done peeling all of my shrimp. I took the tails off, and now I'm going to season them with some garlic salt. And y'all, I love garlic salt. It's become one of my new obsessions. Like, I love garlic salt so much. Like, I just feel like it adds so much flavor. And, yeah, I just really love it. One of my new obsessions. <laughs> so, yeah, just going to add some garlic salt. And then I added in some pepper. And guys, you want to season heavily because, you know, when you flour it, or I actually, when you use cornstarch, sometimes you can lose some of the flavor. Even though we're going to season with cornstarch as well, you can still sometimes lose the flavor. So definitely season it. And then I added in some paprika. I love paprika because, you know, it's like a black sand. Like, it don't taste like nothing. But <laughs> I love to use it because it gives it, like, a beautiful color. And it just makes it look pretty. And then I'm going to add in some accent seasoning. Mix that together. And then I added in some Old Bay, which is one of my favorite seasonings to use on any type of seafood. And yes, I wash my hands, so don't come for me. And yeah, so yeah, I used all of those. Alright, so at this point, my workstation was getting very messy, but just work with me. So I poured some um, cornstarch in a, a bowl. And then I'm going to season it with the same seasonings that we used on the shrimp. And like I said, this adds more flavor so that we don't lose it all when we uh, coat it in the cornstarch. So then you're going to, um, yeah, just season the cornstarch and stir all those seasonings. To okay, so at this point, now that our uh, cornstarch is fully seasoned, we are going to add in our shrimp and we are going to drop those in the oil. As you can see, I'm shaking off the excess because you don't want a whole lot of extra cornstarch left over or to be all in the grease. And then I'm going to put those in a spoon and fry it. Okay, so we are just going to let those fry. As you can see, they're already getting that beautiful golden brown color. And make sure you stir them around so that they don't clump up and stick together. And yeah, it's as simple as that. Just um, keep stirring them around, keep them moving. Like I said, you don't want them to stick together or they won't cook evenly. So yeah, and it's a really simple process. They probably won't have to cook past, I'd say about mm, no more than 10 minutes because the shrimp were already pretty much um, thawed out on my end. So yeah. All right, so now it's time for my favorite part. We are going to start on our sauce. And yeah, this guys was, like I said, this is my favorite part because this to me felt like when it all came together. And as you guys can tell, like it's a really so simple recipe. We're gonna start off with our mayonnaise. I use Duke's, you can use whatever mayonnaise you want because we're about to toss it up anyway. So yeah, um, unfortunately guys, I did not measure. So just, it's still just work for me, okay? I feel like you guys can do this. Just make it your own, okay? Just don't use way too much. <laughs> um, let me try to use my cooking video abilities. If I was to guess, I would say it's probably like a half a cup of mayonnaise. And I added in some soy sauce. I would probably say about three tablespoons. And I would say about a tablespoon of lemon juice. About a fourth a cup of uh, sriracha, but I ran out. But you want about a fourth a cup of sriracha. And the sweet chili sauce, I used pretty much the whole entire um, 6.3 ounces of it. But yeah, um, the sweet chili sauce, let me tell y'all something. I tasted it on its own. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. So yeah, the four ounces is a half a cup. This, yeah, so you want a little more than a half a cup. So then you're just going to stir that all together, guys. And oops made a little mess <laughs> but yeah just like that you have your um 
bang bang sauce or dynamite sauce and you can um taste it and season it and you know adjust it to how much more you feel like it needs more of because like originally i didn't use the full uh six ounces but then as i kept tasting and tipping i'm like yeah it needs a little bit more it needs a little bit more and yeah and if you don't like mayonnaise uh you can just use the rest of the ingredients and just uh you know uh substitute that half a cup of mayonnaise for just uh maybe like a full cup of the uh the sweet chili sauce you can just use that as your base but yeah that sweet chili sauce baby let me taste it's fire so yeah make sure y'all try that you know yeah make sure you try that like i said i was running low on sriracha but you know uh use that sriracha however you preference your um you know, however uh, spicy you like yours. It's the same with the soy sauce too. Like, um, you know, as you can see, I don't use seasonings in this type of recipe, uh, simply because uh, soy sauce to me, that seasoning in this dish, because it has uh, just enough umami flavor. Let me get y'all a little vocabulary. But yeah, um, it has just enough of umami flavor for me, personally to where it didn't need any seasonings at all. And that sweet chili sauce, it, is busting so yeah make sure y'all get some of that and yeah my sauce is perfect after this all right so basically i just um grabbed my shrimp it was freshly fried as you can tell by the way i'm grabbing it it's very hot <laughs> and um but yeah guys please be careful i don't want you guys to burn yourself so Yep, it's freshly fried and it has that beautiful golden color and also i meant to say earlier when you fry the shrimp if you want to add if you want to crack an egg on the shrimp to uh make sure the cornstarch sticks that's absolutely perfect okay you can do that as well so yeah if you have a bowl with a lid on it and you can shake it up like that that will work too but i didn't um have a lid for this bowl so yeah i was like let me use this spoon <laughs> And yeah, make sure you don't use too much because you don't want the shrimp to go soggy. And this is like when I was getting really excited because I was like, oh my gosh, like it's all coming together. It's crazy. It looks just like it do at the restaurant. And yeah, look at your work, glorify it, taste it. And just own like it. that, y'all, we done. Look, all you gotta do is sprinkle you some parsley on top. It's gonna look like you done did everything in some mold. Do you hear me? Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe.